Here's my trusty six ton bottle jack. It's probably 10 or 15 years old and has not had a problem until now. And now it will only lift about uh, an inch and a half or so. I've discovered that the oil is way low in it, so I'm going to change the oil and we'll see if that fixes it. So this little video is going to be to uh, show how, uh, how I change the oil in, uh, in this. Need a tin can to dump it in or something, uh, some jack oil, a screwdriver and plenty of paper towels and so that should do it. My workbench is uh, so junky I'm ashamed to show it so that's why I'm using an upside down box as a workbench. I've decided I'm going to actually change the oil in this thing. So the first thing is to remove the, the uh, fill plug here which I'll do with a little screwdriver. I'll just uh, pop that out. So that's out. Now here's the only new thing that I'm bringing to the party and that's to take a, a, a tie wrap, cut the tapered end of it off and use it as an oil gauge. Stick it in there. Here's the fill level. Bring it back out. Here is the oil level, so it's way, way, way down from what it should be. Now I'm going to drain the oil out, get my trusty tomato can here, any brand will do, and just, I'm just going to tip this guy up and drain the oil out since it's about 15 years old, and I'll be back. I've drained it and wiped it off. And I don't know if you can see, but there's not really much oil at all in there. So uh, it clearly needs oil. I bought uh, some new oil. Of course, I didn't have any. I just picked up the only brand that uh, Car Parts Place near me had. I cut the tip off, and now we'll start the filling process. Let's just see how that's going to go here. Should be... Uh, it should be pretty easy. Just poke that in there until it starts coming out. It started running out, so I quit. We'll just tip this a little bit. And see, so it's, uh, it's full. Now we'll just put it back and test it. already higher than it was. We'll just keep going. There, that seems as high as it will go, which is which is fine. I'm going to measure it so I just know how what the most lift I can get out of it is. And also might uh, try uh, bleeding it just to see if there's any air bubbles in there that I can get out. But there's a uh, oil change on a jack and I expect that to last me another 10 or 15 years. Um, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to change the oil in a uh, bottle jack.